Hi everyone, Bandana here. Welcome back to the Monty Warner Tournament from SD League. Today we're with Bulba and Uweb. Bulba over on the left in red playing as the 35th and over on the right in blue. Uweb playing as the 4th Motsuchin. Let's have a look at what Bulba has down. Obviously we are back on Black Forest. We have Desert Nikki, we got Desert Nikki, Metis and Igla and some ZU23s all pushing up there. Quite interested. A little bit of a push going on here to try and cut off that supply route there, which is always interesting. Down here, we have the 44 cannon, a recon, and a command. Command heading here and then to Bravo. Over here, we have two Desniki Medas, a Rosvedka, and a command, which will head here and then the center. Very defensive here, very few units. We've got an MI2 coming over here just to watch that area. And we got a couple of MI-24 anti-air choppers. Obviously, they also have rockets heading over to Bravo. He's going really aggressive in Bravo. He wants it, and he doesn't want to let it go. Over on the other side with you, Webb, we have a lot of FS Jaeger, a lot of FS Jaeger Metis, and some FS Strellas and an FS SPG-9. Oh, and two more Strellas just went down. Good spread. He's really going everywhere. So he's got units going to Bravo, units going to Charlie, this may mean that simply he gets overwhelmed in Bravo. At the back here, I see a bunch of 30 mil grenade launchers. We see some flamethrowers. We see a Conkers, a T-55, and a couple of commands. One command going up to the top there. One going to Echo. None going to the set. Oh, that one is going to be redirected there. The one at the top not going anywhere else yet. This is an interesting spread of units, and I mean, this is more your standard spread from UWeb. Some going Bravo, some going Charlie, whereas, obviously, Bulba going very heavy into Bravo, it may pay off in the long run. So I think the most interesting attempt we've seen to take this map, and it did work out in the end, was obviously the attempt to take Alpha from this side and just charging through. That was quite a good tactic. Switch over to our controller so we can see what's going on. I mean, the big fight, I think, first is going to be down here in Bravo. So we'll zoom in a bit. These choppers coming in. I'm expecting to see these getting slaughtered as they come in. Though the Strellas are out in front, this could go, well... Strellas are good versus choppers, but at the same time, if they are the first thing that the choppers see, the choppers are probably going to chew them up. And I think more of the Strellas have gone to the center. There's an MI-2482 being called in there. But I think, obviously, the MI-24 is going to have the upper hand here. As soon as they see that Strella, it's going to die. There isn't any other anti-air coming in there. There we go, it has been spotted. It's stopped. It's dead. And that's it. Bulba has the upper hand. This point is his. He will annihilate all those FS Jaeger now. They're fleeing into the forest. That's the best thing you can possibly do in this situation. Get them undercover. And my 24D still coming in this way. That's a risky thing. Hopefully he redirects that because obviously verse two anti-air choppers. It's not going to fare very well. Good amount of units in the center point for UWeb though. But at the moment, Bulba in a nice position. He does have those units arriving to cover that back reinforcement route as well. Yeah, there go the AA missiles. Oh, yeah, that's a nasty and slightly expensive loss there. MI-24 is just using the cannon to kill the FS Jaeger here. A lot of those units now going through the forest. Will they still head to this point or are they going to head towards the center and deal with the units that are cutting off the reinforcement route? There's a lot of 30 mil grenade launches in there, so maybe they don't have to worry quite as much. It's hard to say. Very quiet on the rest of the map, to be honest. There's Nikki R pushing up down here. The MI-24 is heading towards the center now, I think. That seems quite risky. Because there is a bunch of anti-air units there. Oh no, they're stopping over here. Just gunning down another couple of squads of infantry. 
I mean, this has proven quite effective, and UWeb has brought in nothing to deal with this. Waiting to bring in aircraft, surely, to try and kill these choppers, because at the moment, he's just getting wrecked by them. He's just called in some Panzer Jaeger, of all things. There's a cub coming in. But massive early upper hand. There's a jet coming in, finally, a MiG-29. Not the best at killing choppers, to be fair. Zoom out slightly. Will it get a kill on one of them? Not quite. Not quite. The thing is, it's a very fast jet. So, it's never guaranteed the kill. Desert Nikki there, pushing forward. Finishing off those FS Jaeger. Oh! MiG-29 goes down. That was an expensive call-in and loss. What the heck killed that? I don't even know what took that out, to be honest. Maybe Bulba brought in a jet that I just couldn't see from the angle I'm at. Let's turn ourselves around a bit. There's no big AA in over there, so it must have been a jet, surely. That just got immediately called out. I guess we'll see at the end. UWeb kind of clearing up this forest now. I think Bulba still had the advantage. He's bringing in the Scrisette to help with the flame troops. There's a Panzer Jaeger trundling along there. Certainly UWeb has the bigger force in the middle. He's calling in stuff towards the top to defend that top point as well at the moment. Bulba seems very uninterested in that though. He's repairing and rearming his choppers now. He's got a couple of ZU-23s coming in. Down at the bottom, no movement from either player. Bulba's attempt to slow things down at the back there have failed. He's done a little bit of damage, but... Perhaps providing a bit of a distraction for you, Webb, in all of that. That cub is coming in now. Will pose a slight threat to those choppers, though. Cubs obviously... Better against aircraft. Going to be some little bit of skirmishing down here with these flame troops. Shame that Scrisette isn't further up. Metis going after that Panzer Jaeger. Oh, they do deploy just in time. Those Metis get in a nice position. They could kill this cub on its way in here. Here comes the MI-24s, fully rearmed and repaired. The Metis can't see the Cub or it's out of range. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it's out of range. MI-24s being hit by the Cub. Nice. Very nice. Cub absolutely annihilating those choppers. Genuinely thought those Metis were going to cause the Cubs an issue, or the Cub an issue, but uh, didn't happen. Cub is actually out of missiles, though. 30 mil grenade launch is doing a good job in this game so far for UWeb. Mig-29 coming in again, wanting to finish off that chopper. Does get the kill, very nice. Does it go down as well, though, is the question. Mig-29 destroyed. Two MiG-29s gone in this game so far. SU-22 HE bomber coming in. Did it even drop its bombs? I think it veered off. That marker went down on the Metis there. Loads of reinforcements arriving here for Bulba now. Lots of Desert Nikki BMD. Another Scrisette. And a bunch of D-44 cannons. Quite close range here for D-44 cannons. I prefer to use those over a longer distance myself. Another cub coming in the centre there. I mean, at least UWeb has managed to deal with the choppers. I think they were the biggest issue for him at the moment. They're now out of the picture. It cost him a lot to kill them though. Two MiG-29s dead. It's not ideal. Scrisette here should make short work of these flame troops. Obviously, they can't really fire back at it. 
The Panzer Jaeger could, but they're too far away. Resupply coming in here for that Cub. Scrizette pushing up now. Trying to get shot at that MI2, I think. Not a huge amount of movement in the middle. A few reinforcements arrived there for Bulba, but he's not exactly sending a lot in there. He's focusing on holding down here. He is currently plus one, and obviously this is a slow map, as you will know. Black Forest is one point, one point, one point, all across the middle. And then some of the back points are only one point as well, so it's really, really slow in terms of things ticking up. The only time you get a proper snowball is if you manage to basically take the entire center point this point that we're looking at right now and probably the top back point as well if you really want a lot of points you need this one down here from Bulba's side which is worth two and delta if you are playing as you web obviously and that's a plus two but holding on to those because they're so close to the reinforcement points is not easy it's probably the hardest point to hold anyway su 22 he bomber coming in again let's try and zoom in on that We'll drop its bombs this time. Nice spread. Oh. Annihilates the... I was trying to decide if that jet was going down. Annihilates the 30mm grenade launcher. The jet does get out alive. Not enough AA down there. MiG-29 did come in, but is... Wow. Cub tried to fire the MiG-29 there, but hit the side of that hill. Suchin coming in here. Being engaged by those D-44 cannons. Okay, that's some quite nice positioning on those cannons. Just hitting the units coming in. Unfortunately, mainly focusing on the infantry at the moment. Doesn't Nicky and Spetsnaz pushing in here. This is looking good right now for Bulba still. He's putting down a serious amount of fire. Those Spetsnaz will really help against these infantry. They're still pretty good in this patch. I hear another jet coming in. HE bomber does not... Oh, it does drop its bombs. It went for the cannons. Oh, absolutely beautiful strike. Killed both of those cannons in one pass. Another chopper in there. An MI-24V rocket attack. MI-24V cleaning up here. Wants to be careful though, doesn't want to get too close to that cub. That was a beautiful bomb strike. You will be very pleased with that. Killing both of those cannons. Spetsnaz chasing down these Motsuchin. More reinforcements being called in here. T-64B just arriving in the center there for Bulba. I'm really not sure what Bulba's planning in the center there. At the moment, he's fine, though. U-Web isn't being very aggressive. He's not pushing out. He's just sitting. So, at the moment, it means that Bulba can just be really chilled about what he's bringing in up there. He doesn't need to bring in a huge force. I'm just going to zoom out and see what's happening at the top there. Absolutely nothing at the top, either. I'm curious what Bulba has coming in here. He's bringing in some Nonas, some Strellas coming in there. Obviously a bit sick of these uh, bombers now. Artillery. Very nice. 152mm D20 cannons coming down on those units of Bulba's there. Interestingly, those Nonas are heading towards the center. I'm wondering what Bulba's planning to do with those. Maybe smoke as a distraction or something? Very curious. Or maybe drop some mortars on the city? Really not sure. Two MI-24V rockets pushing in here. Has he forgotten the Cubs there? Artillery doing a really good job at the back. Here you go, the Nona's firing. Let's see what they're firing at. Dropping mortars at the back there. The 
Another Spetsnaz coming in here. A lot of units in this forest for you, Web. What's happening in the middle there, other than those mortars coming in, is that Bulba pushing up slightly? His tank has taken a bit of damage. He's calling in another tank up there. He's pushing his forces in this way. Is he thinking about pushing the middle? It is a distinct possibility. If he can make some progress with these infantry past those Metis and the 30 mil. MI-24Vs engaging on these infantry, obviously very effective, but immediately taking fire from the cub that's there. He needs to deal with that cub. A little bit of skirmishing in the middle there, I think. Bulba's just trying to put some pressure on now. He's going to take fire from those 152mm cannons, though. And my 24k recon chopper pushing across towards the center there. Obviously to take care of that 30mm grenade launcher, which is just torn apart the Desert Nikki BMDs. I mean, they got wrecked. Artillery going in on the Nonas. Good choice. T-64B goes down. u -Web could stand to be a tiny bit more aggressive in the middle, perhaps, here. I do feel like he has the advantage. SU-22, anti-tank coming in for the MI-24K. Nice kill. Very nice kill. That will take lots of fire as it goes past everything else, though. Might get out alive, however. Oh, no, it does not. MiG-29 comes in from the other side and takes it out as it tries to evac. I thought it had just escaped there. To be fair, I feel like the SU-22 is a much better choice. It's a little bit more effective against choppers than the MiG-29. Good use of the artillery by U-Web at the moment. Not a lot of movement. Where are those Desert Nikki BMD going? Just one squad going into the forest against multiple squads from UWeb. Artillery going in on the Nonas once more where they were. Bulba learned his lesson, keeping them moving now. Another MI-24K coming in. Very much a Mexican standoff at the moment. No one making too much of a move here. BMD-1's pushing up against those Pioneer Flams. Now, that's a really good choice against the Pioneer Flams, but they are flanked by the Motsuchin. Which will make short work of the BMDs. HE Bomber coming in in the centre there. Likely going for those units at the front. Nice dive bombing strike. Got the kill on the 30 mil. No anti air in the middle. Bulba has no anti air at all in the middle. And now U Web knows it. So there is potential that he can bring in more bombers for the center there. Bulba taking the fight to U Web in the forest here. Remains to be seen if that's a good or bad idea. You were really trying to counter battery those nonas, but Bulba's keeping them moving. He may forget eventually to move them, but uh, I feel like there's better targets for the artillery at the moment, like these infantry on the front that uh, his troops are fighting in the middle. And my 24 rockets up and about again, pushing in towards this cub once more. And there's some strellas in there as well now. Choppers aren't the best thing to fight stuff in forest. There goes the cubs. Or the cub. Good hit on that chopper. 
Oh, missed a second shot, but it is immediately rearming. Bulba really trying to utilize those choppers, position them away from the cub. He seems to have succeeded, surprisingly. Genuinely shocked that they've managed to hide from the cub just over there. And they are making a difference. I mean, well done. I'm impressed they've managed to dodge the cub by hiding at the other side of that hill. And obviously the cub at the back behind them over here. Just a little bit too far back to get at them as well. I see shenanigans at the top. Desert Nikki and an MI-8T pushing up along with an MI-9 command chopper. Now, Bulba does like doing that. He likes going around the back. Obviously, the Strella is going to make short work of that MI-8T. I don't know if Bulba's keeping an eye on what's going on up there. Yeah, that MI-9 is going to go straight down. Let's buzz over there and have a look at this. Surely, it's not going to survive. Wait. Wait. It's landed. He's actually managed to land it. Oh no. He's going to cap the point. Currently plus two, about to be plus three. Oh, you web. My condolences. Well done, Bulba. Well done. Your sneaky shenanigans getting around the back have paid off once more. Some games, he just gets away with it. Currently plus three to Bulba. Nice advantage points. Win in nine minutes time. Nine minutes to the victory. If he can hold that top point. I mean, realistically, he's not going to hold it. Surely. Surely, U-Web is going to take that back. Once he realizes there's an Akula coming up that way now as well. Maybe that's to deal with the infantry on the ground. Bit of skirmishing in the forest there. Realistically, UWeb's forces are simply outnumbered. Back here, though, in this main forest area on this hill where there has been multiple fights this game. There's Nikki BMD surrounded by a lot of units. It is really hard to push back in this point, I've found, when you're really, like, locked out of it. Being there myself, as I've said before, it is it is a difficult one to push back into. Lots of reinforcements come in here, though. U Web is determined to try it again. He technically has plenty of units there. The question is, can Bulba take the middle point and that city? A couple of HE bombers coming in here, heading towards these units in the center by the looks of it. Yeah, he wants to kill those units in the forest. Oh, he dropped behind them. He dropped where they used to be. Not where they had moved to. MI-24s moving in to assist. Loads more BMD-1s and Desniki BMDs moving in to this point as well now. T-64B pushing around the back here. MI-24s do the job. Clear up those units that were pushing. Up at the top, Bulba's command chopper unperturbed. SU-22 comes in, takes out one of those choppers very effectively. And SU-22, oh my word, as it flies past, it also kills the T-64. Wasn't even looking at it or aiming at it and it still managed to kill it. That is very upsetting for Bulba. And the jet got out alive. That must be very upsetting, Bulba. But at the moment, Bulba's command at the top there completely safe. Not being attacked by either the Strellas or the Panzergrenadiers that are near them. I don't think UWeb has realized that Bulba's taken it. He hasn't responded to that at all in any way, shape or form. I think he's very focused on what's going on at the bottom here. 
And that does happen. Sometimes you forget about what's happening elsewhere on the map when you're really focused on a fight. But it seems to have gone massively in Bulba's favour, that. I genuinely thought that chopper was going to get shot down. T-55 being engaged by the MI-24. Still feels like Bulba generally has the upper hand here. Making good use of those Nona's. Attempt to count a battery in the Nona's again. Oh, you, Web, I wish you'd realised about what's happened at the top. Victory in five minutes for Bulba. SU-22 anti-tank finally destroyed as it comes in for another chopper. Didn't manage to get the kill on the chopper this time. There's a lot of forest fighting in this. I mean, it is the Black Forest map, to be fair. But at the moment, Bulba once again pushing. He's determined to try and cut off this road at the back. I suppose he could then push through the town. Good use of choppers in this, but there we go. The cub has been moved up to deal with these choppers. Bulba wasn't expecting that. Metis down there managed to get a kill on that T-55 finally. That command chopper still at the top there. My 24 now free to come in. The cub has been destroyed. Bulba is making a move on this centre point, I think. Two commands being called in by UWeb here. He's determined to get in at this point with at least one command. And I mean, he might get in, but it won't change the outcome of this game by the looks of it. Bulba is about to possibly overwhelm the centre point. I don't see how he can't. He has a lot of Desen Nikki there. He's got plenty of fire support from BMDs as well. And he's got a coolers in the middle. He's got choppers moving in. He just needs to take out the Strella. There's a cub at the back as well. That cooler is just suiciding in. What are you doing with that cooler, Bulba? I think that was a I don't care anymore. I've won this game kind of move. Command rolls into this point. Another command will come in at the other side as well. I mean, UWeb is in here. But at the same time, Bulba is probably going to take the center point completely. And there's still plenty of defense units in here for Bulba. Although those Desert Nikki are probably going to get killed on the way in. Not Suchin firing at their vehicles. Oh, no, they've deployed. He's realized. And unfortunately, in all of this, though, UWeb, I don't think, has ever realized that he lost the top point. SG-22 HE bombers coming in here. Going for these defense units. Good kill on the Desert Nikki. The other squad almost dead as well. MiG-29s came in. Managed to kill one of those. There we go. The command is dead in the center there. Bulba takes the center. Back to plus three. In the ending moments of this game. And realistically well defended at this bottom point as well. The command is in there, but I dare say we will see a cap of that. Where is this Mot Razvedka going down here? Oh, shenanigans. MI9 command gets in the double pointer. That's an additional plus four to Bulba as he caps it. MI24D is coming in to deal with it, but it's too late. Plus seven to Bulba. 42 seconds to the win. Bulba's shenanigans paying off. Unfortunately, I don't think UWeb ever realized what happened at the top there. 
And unfortunately, Bulba eventually built up the forces to do exactly the same at the bottom. The MI9 will likely die here. But it doesn't matter. He got the point. He retook the middle point as well. Bravo there. GG, you Web and Bulba. Well played to both of you, but Bulba takes the victory with his shenanigans to the back points. Oh, the Panzer Jaeger are finally moving towards that command chopper. I think you have finally realized what happened. Unfortunate, when you do get very focused on the battle, sometimes you completely forget what's happening elsewhere. Well played, guys. Not a massive, massive difference in kills to losses there. Very curious. What got the kill on the very early MiG-29? Let's just have a look at that. MiG-29 was killed by the MiG-29, so it was one of Bulba's MiG-29s that got that early on. I just didn't see it come in. Let's have a look. So, Desert Nicky Metis did a good job in that game. The Choppers were doing a good job. Metis are winning at the moment in terms of kills. Jaeger Metis over here did a good job as well. I think it's the Metis launchers that got MVP this game. Good game, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon for some more Warner.